Good evening. The beating death of a four-year-old girl has raised a lot of questions about child protective services. Today we discovered another allegation of abuse that fell through the cracks. Leilani Wright's mother and her mother's boyfriend are charged with her death. The child's grandparents long suspected she was being abused. Well, now we've learned CPS had yet another chance to step in and prevent the Grand Prairie girl's death. First here on Fox 4 News at 6, Laura Brown is live in Grand Prairie with the latest developments. Lori. Heather, we discovered there was another allegation of abuse more than a month before Leliana's death. And a source close to the investigation tells me that a special investigator recommended that she be seen by a medical professional for alleged sexual abuse. Little four-year-old Leliana Wright had no way to protect herself against the violent beating that began when she drank some of her little brother's juice. I said, you understand, Poopa's going to protect you. I was wondering if she was asking for me when she was being beaten. Now we're learning more about how the system designed to protect children like Leliana failed. Police say the beating happened at the hands of her mother and mother's boyfriend who were high on heroin. According to police records, she was tied in a closet and ultimately died after being thrown against a wall. Now we're discovering CPS had more than one bright flag of abuse. Our source says a special investigator was assigned to look into suspected sexual abuse by another boyfriend of the mother. While the investigator did not recommend immediate removal, we're told he made a referral to the CPS caseworker to have Leliana evaluated at a clinic that performs sexual assault exams. That was on February 11th, but for reasons that are not yet clear, CPS was still trying to get in touch with the family weeks later for March 2nd to March 7th. Leliana was killed March 13th. Is there any way that CPS could have prevented this little girl's death? I can tell you that a report will be done on the case and it'll be released publicly when it's complete. The documentation on Leliana's abuse dates back at least a year and a half. Monday, we told you about these photographs that showed Leliana with a bruised eye, busted lip and scratch to her cheek. That was in November 2014. Eventually, the girl opened up to her grandmother, saying her mother beat her because she was taking a long shower. She said mama reached in to what she said she went to grab me and she hit me across my face. But in the end, CPS determined that the girl was safe and left her in her mother's care. CPS did fire a caseworker and supervisor. The attorney for the special investigator who resigned said he had no comment. Heather. Such a sad story. Lori, thank you.